Hello and welcome to the Budget Timekeeper and welcome to another video on the Great Indian Festival. So I have some more deals. I made a separate one for Cashew. This one is more of a mixed one. So yeah, let's get into this. First, we start once again with another Cashew. So this is a model that I've been uh, eyeing for a while. And this is about the lowest I've seen the price drop. And normally, this is around a 4,000 rupees watch. This is slightly bigger. And the cool feature here is they have this um, sort of globe world map type thing in the middle it looks very good it's sort of rounded as well watch some review videos of this one you may end up liking this one so yeah I have been tempted to get this a few times but we'll see so this is 27.96 currently uh, next we have the Benyar automatic mechanical skeleton watch now this has been a popular watch at least among Indian youtubers I've seen this mentioned quite a few times now, normally I see the price around 4,000 or so, sometimes it's more, but this is a popular one, seems to do well, and 3,000 is around the price that I think you should pay for this one. Also keep in mind, this is a bigger watch. Uh, as you can see, it's maybe inspired by Panerai or something like that, so it is on the bigger side, so keep that in mind when you're getting it. I don't know if they have size mentioned here yet. You can see the case is 44, which again okay, is not too bad if it's 44 but yeah luck to luck may be quite a lot also keep in mind the links will be in the description and in the pinned comment now next we have a unique titan watch a design that looked interesting to me so i thought i'll mention this one so you have the model number here and i just like the shape here the light blue color people have been going over the tiffany color this is not that color but I just think the whole thing works with the gray strap. It looks nice. Normally, I see this for around five, maybe four and a half, something like that. So, 3,900, it's a not bad deal. I would like to see a bigger sale, but I don't know if there are too many of these available and how low it goes. But yeah, it's an interesting design if you are uh, looking for something different. Next, we have a Skimmy watch. So, I have used a couple of watches from this brand and I like them overall. I've also seen a bunch of reviews online from other budget watch channels and stuff. And most of them like the brand and they have recommended the brand as like a good cheap brand. Quality is decent. They are durable. People have done extensive tests like throwing them around in the snow and leaving them outside in the rain. And they seem to do well. So I have ordered one of these myself. Hopefully it arrives any day now and I'll try and make an unboxing and review. I have ordered something with a big dial and a big display basically so there is a brand called Sunto and you may have heard of it which makes these watches but those are quite high end like 20,000 plus and Casio also has an option I'll show you that one as well but for 500 I thought why not let's give it a try what's the worst that can happen I was thinking of getting a strap for myself but then I thought I can get a full watch for 500 so yeah I'll uh, try and make a review when this arrives but it's 500 right now nice big display I'm not too confident about the negative display but we shall see it has backlighting as you can see in some of the pictures this one is what I really wanted but this one seems to be out of stock and you can see the price is a little all over the place this one is 575 this one is 639 I like this blue one with the blue ring and this one so I went with this one for myself normally I've seen the price around 700 um, don't believe the 2800 they show here I've seen this for 700 because I have had this on my wish list for a while and this is the lowest it has cost so 500 I think is pretty good also this is the Casio option I was mentioning not quite the same but at least it has like a positive display and a few nice features but keep in mind this is also a large watch so may not work for you but I don't know if you have used uh, smart watches I think you can go with this illuminator nice clear display 10 year battery but of course this is two and a half thousand not on sale I thought I'll mention this if anybody's interested but yeah this is the watch that inspired me to get that skimmy watch next I have some uh, deals on boxes for storage and a few other things so we have the leather world box these are good they have good reviews I have this one, not exactly this one, but from this brand, I have a four watch slot and I find it to be really good. There's also the option of a non-window one, so you can go for that, but six 
six slots for 569 i think is a reasonable compromise in terms of uh, space and quality because if you go too cheap the quality isn't satisfying and yeah you need a decent number of watches again four might be not enough six is not bad if you want something bigger there's also the eight no this is a 10 watch box so you can get this for 800 again reasonable compromise these are also popular 4.4 uh, rating so these are decent quality and if you want even bigger you have this one here with 18 watch slots i think this is maybe too much for me personally i don't like huge boxes with like eight up to eight seems good for me anymore i would rather have two boxes of six or three boxes of six each instead of one giant 18 but i may try to get one of these just to test them out so this one is 1371 with a 73% discount apparently 4.2 rating so this is good again now next i wanted to mention the screen guard for one of the popular series of watches the casio f91 158 i have this screen uh, guard in fact this exact one you get a pack of three for 150 and you can use these on a158 uh, f91 and i've also put this on my w217 although it is a little small on that one but it still mostly covers the screen area this is a perfect fit for a158 and f91 and maybe the a168 i don't have an a168 so i can't say for sure but for my f91 and a158 this is a perfect fit in fact if you get it right you won't even notice it's there and these as you know these watches have acrylic crystals so basically they get scratch very easily so something like this will just keep the ski uh, screen clean and clear for longer so 150 for this one and then there's also a similar one for the uh, wall timer a a1200 uh, you can use this with ws1600 and a1300 because they have the same case so i think this should work and this is a set of five of these for this model this uh, design so yeah that's it for this one. Hopefully you find something useful and thank you for watching. See you next time.